when I go out on the bees, very often I'm on my own, and it is what I could describe as tranquil, peaceful, and you become very focused. And to become a good beekeeper, you have to observe everything that goes on around you. It's something that have always, always, always interested me. And I've lived in this valley all my life. It's an absolutely fantastic valley. And often sort of wondered how could I make, if you like, make a living or involving myself with the valley. The answer is staring me in the face. So once all the frames are capped in the honey box in the super, we fetch the super to the extraction room where we proceed to uncap the wax. We then put the frames into the extractor. The honey comes out into a settling tank and from the settling tank into a jar. When we tasted our first batch of honey, the best way to describe it as God's nectar, absolutely beautiful. I feel as though what makes Kefili a fabulous foraging area for honeybees is the variety of plants, the rows and rows of blackberries, forests full of bluebells. In the Kumkan Scenic Drive, we're hoping to put some honeybees, and obviously the Scenic Drive is where they have one of the best downhill push bike tracks there is. We will undoubtedly have honeybees on there by the end of this year. The produce is primarily sold throughout the valley. There's some fabulous places where we can go and eat, where everyone can go and eat out. And one, another one of our aims is to supply these places with our local honey so that everyone will get to enjoy the tastes of the valley. Mm -hmm.